I'm currently on the Mac and I'm looking at Claro Read. I'm looking at saving text to an audio file. Now the problem you may have when you save it as default to an audio file in the Mac, it will either save it as Apple lossless encoder or WAV format. Though very good formats, you cannot upload them onto various hardware such as Olympus recorder, dictation recorders or even some phones. So we need to change the format. And we can do that with iTunes, but we can also do it with another program I've found totally free, which is even quicker. But let me show you in iTunes first. So, here's some text I'm going to highlight and save as an audio file. Command A, or you can highlight it, selecting and then right click and copy. Select save audio and then give it a name. I should just call this Railway. And I'm going to click Save, but I'm going to save it to my desktop. Always good to add a tag if you want to find it. So I'm going to do red in case I lose that, but I shouldn't do it, it's on my desktop. Click Save. I'm going to close that document. Now what format I need is an MP3 format so I can upload it onto my recorder. As my recorder will only take MP3, Windows Media Audio. So I'm going to double tap that. To open iTunes. Until the railway came, the local commercial centre was nearby St. Mary. And click pause. So I now need to convert that. So first I need to find the file in my iTunes. I'm just going to type in there railway. And there's railway there. And you can see it's right at the bottom here. Now I want to change the format of that MP3 so that I can upload onto my Olympus recorder. So if I do a right click, I have no option to do that. I can create Apple lossless version, but I prefer MP3. So go to the top of iTunes, select iTunes and select Preferences. Stay in a general option and I want you to go down to where it says when a CD is inserted and select Import Settings. Now I need to choose the correct encoder I'm going to require in this instance. So I'm going to select MP3 encoder. I'm going to choose the quality, obviously the higher the quality, the bigger the file, but that's not a problem. So I'm choosing 192 and click OK. And click OK. Now, if I right click on the railway file, and then you see I've now got an option there called Create MP3 Version. So if I tap that, it's now created an MP3 version. So that's quite easy to do and then you can upload it to your required device. I'm going to come back out of there and click quit. I found a free program that does it as well pretty quick. So, there's my format there. I want to convert that to MP3. The name of the program is Media Human Audio Converter. Tap it and all you have to do is drag it in. So, hold the left button, drag it in tap on it and then we can click format. Choose the format you require MP3 choose your bits per second and click close and now we're ready to convert and we'll leave it on that format and click the conversion button and it's done. So if I open it up it's in my converted folder and there's a file as a simple MP3 there's a couple of ways of doing it. If you're not a great fan of iTunes, then this could be an easier way for you to convert quickly, especially when you're in a hurry because you've got to find your files in your iTunes folder and then create different folders to put them in. This could be an easier way of doing it for you. Thanks for watching.